Hello, this is Zach, and welcome to our other video. Today, guys, I'm going to be playing in the E75. To me, it's probably one of the best heavy tanks out there, World of Tanks. It's just, like, so good at stuff. As you can see, I got a mark of excellence on it. And I'll show you my stats, too. Um, here, I'll find my stats. I got some pretty good stuff. I got... A um, one of these, uh, Ace Tanker, I have Top Gun, uh, it's just so much different metals on it. It's really, it's a really good tank. And I'll show you one, like, game I've done on it. Like, not a replay, but I'll just show you, like, the stats of one game. Because, like, I just have so much good stuff. I'll show you. As you can see, this is a really good game. This is a screenshot of good game. I have a Top Gun, Steel Wall, Sniper, Ace Tanker, High Caliber, just all kinds of medals. You can see it's my account, which is called Longshot2006. So, yeah, this is a very good game. It I had my E100, and I'm pretty proud of that tank I have. It's really good. Like, I, I like it a lot. So, yeah, now I will start playing after I get out of here. Yeah. So... Let's go into a game. Yeah, the E75, I've always liked it, like, since I got it. Because just, like, how good of a heavy tank for its tier it is. Like, it's got an okay gun. Like, with accuracy. It's gun's okay with accuracy for a heavy. I gotta say, it's okay. And it's just, it's just good to get, like, marks of excellence on. It's got decent speed, and its armor, its armor is pretty good. Its underplate is kind of weak, though, kind of like the King Tiger's. For me, it's basically a King Tiger with an overpowered gun. I would say that. My camera might be a little tilted looking, so I'll just move it slightly. There. Yeah, I've had pretty good games in this tank. Probably one of my best, like, most profitable vehicles I have. <laughs> I'm, I also have a mark of excellence in my Panther. I'm going to show you that, guys that later. As you can see, I've customized this thing all out. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool looking. I'm close to getting a double mark of excellence. That's what I'm trying to do right now in this vehicle. We'll get a double mark of excellence. But yeah, I'll just cruise. By the way, there's this mode you can do called cruise mode, where you just like hold down on the left trigger. Not hold down, but you click down on it, and you literally just like move. Yeah, the E75 isn't the best vehicle, at least for me, in these like very open maps. I've had like better games. Oh, the thing's kind of accurate, it's not the most accurate. I'm gonna get out of here before I just get shot. This might be a risky move. I'm gonna try to flee. I'll just follow these people. Yeah, this is a pretty good round for me. Sometimes, like, you have to go up against, like, tier 10s and stuff, and that can get kind of annoying. But this thing, this thing can fight against tier 10s. Like, some some tier 9s are kind of like hopeless against tier 10s. This tank, it's got a chance. I'm gonna get cruise just to make this look at my camera. Yeah. I just like it as a tank. It's pretty good. Yeah, I was just cruising. We're winning right now, but like, not by a lot. The game can definitely go either way. And it's a pretty popular tank, too. I wonder if that guy has a mark of excellence. No, it doesn't look like it, but still. Well, it's, pr it's pretty common to see marks of excellence. It's time. Trying. That guy kind of stole the position I kind of wanted to go in. Ouch. I don't, I don't want to disturb him too much. A low roll shot. I knew that wouldn't do a lot of damage or the balance because he was like kind of angry. Too much, but kind of want to get a kill. 
just to show you. Oh, darn. Man, he stole my kill. Darn it. Yeah, I wanted to get a kill on it, but... Bounced. Ooh, E. Ooh, this is gonna be good. E. E75 battles. Love them. How do I just interrupt? You guys probably pissed he has to go up against two of us. I'll try to get a kill. Come on. Don't steal it. Don't steal my kill. Don't steal my kill. No! Darn it. Oh, I thought I had that kill, too. Ooh, sh sh could, should I land on this guy? It's tempting. It's tempting. I'm gonna do it. Oh, that was awesome. I'm just playing around. Probably usually wouldn't do that, but for video, for video, epic. I don't care if I die. It's not. I just wanted to get that cool. You know what? I might record that. That's kind of cool. Uh, I'm probably gonna die, but I don't care. Oh, at least I got a kill. Surprise, I'm still alive right now. Okay. Probably will die soon because, like, pretty out. I can throw these guys' guns. Ooh, I can try. Kill this guy over here. Aw, oh, the gun. The gun depression isn't perfect in this thing. Try to get a shot in. Oh, I was gonna shoot! Darn it. Yeah, I know this isn't a good game. I kind of was fooling around too much, but hey, that was pretty cool. I like that falling on that guy and landing on him. Yeah, I'll play another round of it. I, I got a kill. I got a good amount of damage. Usually games are like this. So the E75, like over 2,000 damage, get a kill. This tank is definitely more of a damage dealer, but you can... As you can see, you can get top guns in this vehicle. It's got play it right. And top guns, th that's pretty good metal. Like, it isn't as good as, like, some other metals, like the Call of Bonnell's metal, which is, like, oh, awesome metal. But still, it's, it's good metal to get. Like, most people don't have a lot of top guns. No offense. Or even none. Yeah, they're just gonna hunt down our artillery. So yeah, yeah, I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this video later because that that jump was epic when I landed on that KV3. Another reason I did is because it was a lower tier vehicle. I thought I would kill him by landing on him. He he was kind of lucky to survive that fall. I thought I thought it was gonna be an all out fail, but actually kind of succeeded. And this guy's just gonna camp here until he dies. He might try to run for it. It, it annoys me sometimes when, our, when people just give up at the end. They just like run out and kill themselves or like drown themselves. Like at least try to like survive for as long as you can. Artie getting killed by Artie. I thought I had that second kill though. Yeah, this wasn't a good battle, but at least I got a kill. Let's see what I let's see what we get here. That's, that ain't bad for a game I Yeah, the with the Alpha Winter games are going on right now. I already completed it, like the Alpha Winter games, but still. Like, you, you still can get points for the next one. Because, like, it, the Alpha Winter games, if you don't know about them, they basically go in, like, different stages. There will be, like, three. Right now, um, if you're, like, watching this video at, like, a certain time, like, if it's over right now, I'm in Bravo Winter Games. But it's almost over. Like, the new one will come out and, like, will probably be, like, Charlie or something, Alpha Winter Games. I mean, not Alpha Winter Games, just Winter Games Charlie. Yeah, I don't know why I was calling it Alpha Winter Games. 
Probably because the first, like, level was called Alpha, like the first stage. But yeah, let's get into this. And as you can see, definitely a more tough battle for the E75, and this time I probably try harder in the last battle, where I kind of just YOLO'd it. Let's see how I do. So yeah. There's only like a couple of tier eights, probably like three in each team. I'll go where like more people go. Oops. I guess I saw it to that guy. Cause like it it annoys me when people get in front of you like that. So yeah. I don't really have like much on my E75 right now much consumables and stuff. I do have a fire, like a thing to take out fire and repair kit, but still. Right now I have a lot of silver after playing the winter games. Well, I'm still not done. By the end I'll probably have like 13 million silver. It's pretty good. More like 14 million, probably. That's the benefit of playing those events. I don't really do those events often, but since I'm doing very good in this one, I'm, I think I'm gonna just complete it. And you get a free, um, tier 6 tank if you do. I feel like the rewards for some of the events should be more. But, that cram for that login definitely is gonna be a threat. Yeah. Oh, there's two of them? Your turrets are so overpowered too. It's a little insane. Ooh. That might need some help. I think we have a little bit of that advantage. Ooh. Oh, it's tempting. It's tempting. I don't wanna I don't wanna just get pinned down. Ooh. Yeah, that's a sizable force right there. I don't wanna mess with them. I really want the Q10 slash IS8. Greed. That was greedy. Definitely greedy of me. I'm, yeah, I think down there we're gonna need more support. I'll try to hold them off. Uh, try it like if they go down. Kind of like, you're doing good tactics. Closing us in. Our super power is going to be so Oh, darn it. I have no chance against these cran logins. I'm going to have to abort. Because as a tier 9, I can't do too much. Here in my guess. Oh! Oh, I made a... I almost made a big mistake. That would have been very bad. We got more people over here than they got. But they're just being really smart with the tactics. Darn it! I would have got him. I was so close. Ooh. Yeah, their artillery ain't messing around. Oh darn. Now they're starting to get a big upper hand. That was kind of a dumb move of the uh, conqueror. I'm trying to do as much as I can here. Skate thing is a good side scraper. Oh, I have no chance. Yeah, that that wasn't really me. That was kind of my team. They just weren't they just weren't performing that well. But still, that was pretty. I did okay. At least I didn't go down immediately. But like sometimes in like those tier ten like games, I have a video of me playing at a tier eight ten against a bunch of tier tens. And if you want to, like, learn about that, you can watch that video. It's called Good Replays, which I was in a tier 8 tank, and I basically, like, took like I took advantage of the whole game. Like, I did really good. Well, I didn't take advantage. Like, they had an advantage, because there's a bunch of tier 10s. But I took out, like, a bunch of, I took out a good amount of tier 10s for, like, a tier 8. I think it was either, like, 2 or 3. Which is pretty good. But yeah, 
I'll just go back to the garage to end this video. So, that was a pretty good video. I enjoyed it, especially the part when I jumped on that KV3. That was amazing. I, I was hoping it would be better, though. I was hoping I would kill it when I jumped on it, but still, that's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you my Panther also has a mark of excellence. It's one of my other favorite German tanks there is, just because how good it is. Like, yeah, get a mark. I also like the E100, but its gun, its upgraded gun is so inaccurate. So yeah, guys, I'll end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Maybe you're thinking about getting an E75 in your garage because, you know, it's pretty good now. And I'll see you later. And make sure you like this video, if I didn't say that. Bye.